Jack Oliver wat van achterna zit. En gaan Oliver bij hem komen. Prachtige drie. Uit Munden. Uit voor hem goed gelees. Aan die beide kant omgekomen. Maar hij vat voor hem raak. Jack Oliver. De schitterend. De absoluut schitterend. Chris. Uh, Robert de Pree die rechte tactiek gebruikt om die bal. Daar is Simons dit. In die kast te plaas, maar kijk nou kijk je mooi op volgwerk. Dit is baie belangrijk. Voor vleel wat vol uit daar loop. Kijk hoe vang je met die ene hand. Schitterend. Man ja, ik denk dit is, uh, dit is, dit is meer dan een nette gevoel. Het is meer iets wat mensen kan moest krijgen. Het is, is een droom wat waar geworden is. Uh, ik mens, mens droom altijd. Je kijk van groot rugby spelers en je hebt familie wat al goed gespeeld heeft. En. Uh, Vooral dat dit vinniger gekomen is wat ik het ooit verwacht. Ik zag zo van de line-out stats dat de Eastern Province heeft been doing a lot of kicking on defense. En so Northern Transvaal had had to uh, put in the ball a lot more at the line-outs. This is lovely play by the Eastern Province back down. Fairbank probably has got all fair. Ulipio Nessa. That's terrific. Can he get in at the line? Jokic is across. Great dive. Jacques Ulefier in for his third try of the season. We saw that amazing one against Natal when he scored after only 27 seconds in the game. His terrific running by the Northern Transvaal backs and Jacques Ulefier took the opportunity and it was a terrific play by the back division. North Transvaal is on the anfall. What can we do with this? Johan Roo, Naas Bota. Janik Klaassen, prachtig keer is Halpen. Hier kan de drie komen. Dit is Jacques Qualiteer, de drie voor Noord Transvaal. Jacques Qualiteer. Vreugd op Lofte Sversveld, onbeschrijfelijk. Een baie goeie, goeie drie, goed beplande drie hier in Noord Transvaal. Robert de Pree verwoonlijk daarom deelt. Makkelijke doelschop voor naast Bota. Twee punten bij. Nu is die groot vraag. Kan die westelijke provincie terugkomen hier in krachtmeting? John, is op, ons kijk net weer naar die hoe die die drie gekomen. De goed beheerde bal die in Noord en ons paal. Ja, die klaas is prachtig weer in Gapen. Goeie uitvee. Jack will appear and a fire for you, but he didn't offer him to fire for you. It's a work there by the Northern Transvaal flank forward. Tap back by Adolf Milan, well cleaned up there by Willy Schmidt. You see how he got under the tackle. Free State will have to lead that ball nicely out to Buerta. This is F.A. Mayring, Yanni Klaassen's the big man on the run well. He was held there by Ruben Kruer, held up Puerto Vary. Taken on there by Adolf Milan. This is good play by the big lock forward. Northern Transvaal forwards getting going nicely. Rue again. This is Pete Pretorius. Can he charge over the advantage line? Yes, as he gets it back to Puerto Vary again in the play. Difficult man to bring down. He's brought down by Kruger. This is a good pass. This is a good period of play for Northern Transvaal. The Nas gets it to F.A. Marin. Can he find Jacques Willepier? Yes! Beautifully played there. Marin's running off the ball was exceptionally good. Willepier had run himself into a terrific position. And Yanni de Pierre in all sorts of distress. was Northern Transvaal playing Free State at their own game and the initial driving from the forward, some beautiful running by the backs and uh, as you Bladen said in particular F.A. Mayring, lovely running off the ball. There was the drive on initially by the Northern Transvaal forwards, Adolf Milan it was, then Pitt Pretoria saw a little gap on the inside, came flying through, the pass back was picked up by Puda Fury. just look how well he stayed on his feet, turned when he went down and then the, pa the pass out, Nas Puda initially thinking of giving a little drop kick but Lovely running into the gap there by F.A. Mayring and ultimately Jacques Olofield making sure he was inside his man. Priet throws long. Referee says play on. Martin Knutzer. He's in trouble.
Victor poaches it. And Northerns have got men over. Now, Alafia. He's going to score. Well, this game has certainly come alight. Now watch the way Peter Nell drew his man here, steps in. And Jacques Olafier, inside, outside. He sees it's Johnny Mitchell, the hooker. I can run faster than him, he says, and he does. Now there will be questions about how Northerns won that ball. It did appear as though Adrian Richter pulled it from the wrong the side ball, of course but he's almost playing 12 months of the year now isn't he indeed Gunny De Beer with the drop out now for Orange Free State tap back on Northern Willie Hills picks it up for Northern Transvaal being helped by Francois Duplessis but uh, Vessel Lightfoot just possesses him in goes Chief Pantonda comes back on Northern side Willie Schmidt out to Dion Station over the 22 well tackled by Yanni De Beer taken on by Willie Schmidt Still in the field of play as it's picked up by Dennis Van Sale. Free State opening it up. Half up Miller. Gerbrand Formler well positioned. Over the 22. Dangerous for Orange Free State. Gerbrand Formler still going strong. Now Orange Free State coming back. In goes Van Tonder. Northern Transvaal picking it up. Gerbrand Krobler still up there. Nice Puerto with the dummy. Changes direction. Finds support from Pit Pretorius. Out it goes. And Jacques Willefier. Jacques Willefier goes over in the corner. Sterling stuff. This really wonderful rugby. Throwing the ball around but keeping it under control the whole time. And Northern Transvaal going over for their second try of the afternoon. But again, cool play from Puerta. Switching direction. Drawing his man. And this now is bad tackling by the Free State. What a handoff from Pete Pretorius, like swatting a fly. And here's one of the best try scorers around. Well, a bit of a breathing space there as Lightfoot throws it in, taken by Fonsell. Stompy Fourie to Yanni De Beer, to Brendan Fenter, inside to... picked up by Ruben Kruger. Fenter, doesn't pass to Isak Pienica. Gets it away though. Freestate skip up for him and quickly enough, Stoppy Fourie and uh, Andrew Tutor running into trouble. Freestate lose the ball, Josef van der Besthuizen has it now. Good pass from Krobner. And well recovered by Gerbrand Krobner, gets it away to Jacques Willefier. And away goes Jacques Willefier, no one's going to stop him, I don't think. He's going to go into the corner. Another try by Jacques Willefier, lovely running rugby by Northern Transvaal. And how well Gerbrand Krobner did to control that pass. Well, that was a wonderful try, and it came from pressure created by two nice Puerta tackles. And how's this for handling? Wonderful stuff. You almost expect him to produce a rabbit out of a hat as well. Gerbrand Krobler, reverse pass. And that's really what gave Jacques Olafier the room. Chris Bardenhorst drawn in, and how's this for pace? Jacques Olafier scores his. Zika's Hutton takes well for Northern Transvaal. Oh, and the best Hazen has it. Last Bertha. Second attempt of the afternoon. But it's wide. He pushed it wide. And Theo van Rensburg takes it within his goal area and decides to run it. Jeremy Thompson has the ball. Runs into trouble but gets the pass away. Northern's really driving in now. Bongo van der Merwe coming away, gives it to Jus van der Besthuizen. Long pass out, this could be dangerous. Andrew Richter has it up to the 22. Over to Jacques Willefier, he's going to go for the corner flag. And Jacques Willefier, and the try has been given. Northern Transvaal from the second phase, stretching it wide. And Jacques Willefier going over for the first try of the afternoon. Well, this was a splendid try from Northerns. And well done, Adrian Richter. Uli Schmidt, Adrian Richter, number eight forward. Now, he's quick, but he knew he had to transfer to the fast man, Olafia. Now, we mentioned earlier with uh, Olafia dropping that catch affect his confidence. Well, how is this for determination? Excellent try for...
But what a fascinating contest. Nichols Hutting taking it across. Just van der Veersen decides to pass out. And he finds a uh, far maiden taken on. Just van der Veersen again after Jacques Collipier, the man who scored the first try. He's got his feet, he's got on his feet. And Jacques Collipier will go for his second try of the afternoon. Some rather ineffectual defence by uh, the Transvaal players, James Small as well. But Jacques Collipier, powerful man, he didn't have much room to move. And he went over for his second try of the afternoon. The mayoring starts here, and just watch James Small and Ian McDonald get in each other's way. Bullocking run find Duplessis. Good drawing and passing. Now watch here. Small has him lined up, and you'll see McDonald. One thinks he has him, and they end up with then neither of them. And Jacques Olafia, after that earlier mistake, scoring his second try. Adolf Malone taking it very well there for Northern Transvaal. A better throw in that time from Uli Schmidt. Nice Porto with the high one. Let's see if there's any advantage. Van der Verstaisen, nice Porto. Little chip ahead for Jacques Willefier. The race is on, and Jacques Willefier will go for his third try. A lovely little chip ahead with the left boot by Nas Porto. Found the left wing, and look how happy he is. Well, this was footballing genius from Puerta. Nice little change from Van der Vestes and heard the call. Nas wanted to run the ball, look. And of course, that dragged players up in the line and what an inch-perfect kick. Now, this was good play by um, Olafir, waited for the ball to come up and scores his... Well, certainly since half-time, the AC side scrum has been more solid. Vestes and to get it away. From there. Stay on side, stay on side. Now Robert Dupri must take that ball and he takes it nicely. Last Puerta now has a lot of space to move. But James Small on his inside. James Small could get away. Great tackle there by Danny Kerber. He got it away to Early Schmidt as he did to Brendan Fenter. And now Puerta again. What is going to happen? I stopped beautifully there. Everybody was so why did he stop? He's given the chance to Peter Muller. Inside to Jacques Olivier. And Jacques Olivier was over. We were just saying the other day there was a British coach over here who said you mustn't run away from your opposition if from your support play. If you're in that situation, stop and rather wait for them. And that's exactly what Nas did. Well, this ball went through a lot of hands. There's Nas Buerta, and he's a pretty quick chap on the, through the, over the ground. And a good pass inside. James Small, who's very quick indeed, but Donny Gerber managed to get him. That is Uli Schmidt. And ranging up there, out on the outside, Brendan Fender. Nas Buerta again and poised beautiful that's peter muller peter muller now he might have gone himself but unse un unselfishly into jacques olifier and there's in the, the second top. half the back line looked very dangerous after jacques olifier's try the victory looked sealed a try by miller followed but then Jacques Willifi's third try of the tour and also won by Henny Leroux gave the Springboks a well-deserved victory. Five tries to nil, the final score 41-12 for the best performance so far on the tour. The long ball, the lift got very high, nice play by Johan Steicher. Only to rip this ball out as Rufter and the Bartman are in there, so is Billy Hills. Lucas Hutting on this side, number five. Benson trying to wrap up the ball. Bob Bartman comes away with it. Galtier with a desperate tackle. Now Rufta. Rufta staying on his feet very nicely, but eventually gets taken to ground. Now the should come back to South Africa a little bit quicker. Boata, the long ball out to Danny Gerber. He's got a little bit of space. Tio van Rensburg trying to get the kick to a beautiful play by Tion Stars as he takes it on. Then Danny Gerber, he's got James Small on the outside. He gets it up to Harry Roberts. Now the forwards must come in quickly so Garthright can get a quick ball, but the fence defense has realigned again ripped back by Val Bartman taking the play on again right, now they've got space on the outside but a little bit way with Buerta a long ball to Tia van Rensburg the little switch to James Small, then a long one to Rufter, and on the outside he's got Jacques Olipiak and Jacques Olipiak get it in the corner yes Dit was briljante spel door Zuid-Afrika door die springmokke as Jacques Olipiak terug draft sy tweede drie Op die toer, daar is baie goed ondersteun, Jain Small wat om uitsvanger hier na die distant toe, baie lang aangeer, 
Adrian Rochter, hier in de speelpositie uit voor Darien de Bayon. Blij op zijn voeten, ontbijt komen stuur voor Olivier weg op hierin loopt hij. Gold tegen Germany. Eastside, back in 1978. They opened with a, a winning tour in Romania. Now perhaps in sight of their greatest day. Their first ever B victory over a Southern Hemisphere team. Bux Olivier has other ideas. Herber Olivier, the one-two in the corner. What a fabulous score. That's how to come back. Jacques Olivier. Just look at the balance of Jacques Olivier here. He's one of these guys who's slightly awkward looking, but he does this very many times in Curry Cup rugby. And Danny Kerber unselfishly unloading. That's a wonderful try. So, resilience, a capacity clearly of this side. And here, Heslop with uh, a difficult head on tackle to make. He took a bit of a knock as he went down, as you can see. Then he cuts back inside. Beautifully weighted pass. And then, cleverly exploited by Herber for the return and glory. Kasper Vekscher with this drop out then for Latvia. A clever little one, doesn't go 10 meters though. Referee waiting for an advantage to South Africa. Klassens, make sure they get it. Jack Olivier. Now this man can shift, this man is quick. Breaching the first line of defense then and uh, an easy try again for South Africa, their second of this game. Jacques Olafia, one of the rising stars of South African rugby. There's nothing like real pace, is there, in this game. And it's particularly what this man has in abundance. Still hasn't touched down. Now he has. Joubert, the quick hack downfield to use the pace of Olafia again. Back is Snetkov. It's support from Kourilov. The hack through by Klassens. Can he keep this ball in play? Does very well. Joubert. And yet another try here for South Africa for Jacques Olivier. His second then of this game. The Latvian showing plenty of battle must be said good challenges but the South Africans bigger stronger and faster <laughs> New South Wales have now secured this ball again it's Carver who's doing the hard work with the ball in hand Langford comes in at the back Hartill right at the back. Chas Scott and a little bit of a, the punch and the clinch there coming in. But New South Wales have lost control. That was Van der Verstehen picked up by Adrian Richter. A chance now for the Northerns outside backs. Yanni Klaassen just waiting for Kerber and Kobler. He gets the tip in now. And it's FA Maiden and Jacques Ulefia will score. Jacques Ulefia who so often goes down this left-hand touchline. It will almost call it Ulefia's corner. Gets in for his try. Well, it'll be interesting to see just what decision is taking. Yes, there's a slugging match in the background as the move carries forward. Some good running off the ball there by the Northern Transvaal players. Jacques Olofier with a space on the outside. 3-2 in the line. You've got too many in there. They're two, you're all in. Yeah, and at the Nisuit Wallace with the strawboard, let the field. Spelers down the line staan gaat Chris Marie. And a goede in weer Siri. Marty Rauwbak wacht in. Gerbrand Grobler is daar. Dus pak los en zaak wel die is deur voor zijn tweede drie. Gerbrand Grobler is daar die 
die skade gedoen. Hij het ingegaan daar zo op Roebak en hij kon net zijn aandacht afgetrekken. Hij kon die bal niet beheer nie. En met goede opvolgwerk druk met transvalle 3. Je kan ons zien dat Gerbrand Glober die man is wat die skade doen daar. En met baie goede handen daar zo vat uh, Jacques Olivier die bal. Weer eens de pre, die keer die bal veld op skop. Baie druk wat Oosthuizen toepas en die bal wordt niet uitgeskop nie. Zuid-Afrika zijn voorspelers onmiddellijk bij met Tian Straas in die voorpunt. De pre waar die bal baie vinnig skoon maak. Peter Miller klopt twee, drie verdedigers bij zwak verdediging Juris Edwards. En Jacques Olivier is bij om die nodige te doen. Al wat hij moet doen is basis om om te hardloop. Voor Zuid-Afrika zijn derde drie, Ries Edwards het verdoel en na net die minuut. Anders, Tian Strauss will no doubt hold us in, they'll look for a second shove. Now they've got to get it going, the Queensland is now really in the other way. Dion Lotte has come around to perhaps control that. Will Strauss pick up? Scott Young is waiting, just there ready to pick it up now, the play goes on. Back to Robert De Pierre. Heinrich Booth makes the charge. De Pierre's right in behind him. He picks up, pops it up to Stransky. Jacques will appear, could be in for the try. Yes, brilliant play by the South African. Great pass by Joel Stransky, but it came from that continued pressure by the forwards. Lovely play by South Africa in keeping it close in there and just those big drives over the line. Under pressure there, Joss. Now watch out well, Jacques Olafiri. He came in and took the pass early when maybe the feeling was from Damien Smith that he would go on the outside. The initial drive came from Heinrich Fools. Dupree did well, but so did uh, Peter Miller in taking the, the early man out. Jacques Olafiri in these situations, well, would you believe it? Getting through three tackles and just flying for that line. A very important score for South Africa and of course, can they salvage some pride in the last minutes, a couple of minutes of this game? Stransky takes it short. De Pria, the long ball to Reese Edwards. He gets it away to Olivia. Look how elusive he is. He is. <laughs> you just can't help thinking that if that man had got more of the ball, it could have been more trouble for Australia. But they just haven't won the possession from first phase. Jacques Lefeu will be delighted by that, his first test try in his sixth test. Good running there by Uri Edwards in coming into the line. And there, we spoke about the elusiveness of Lefeu. Well, he's a difficult man to bring down, very, very quick and uh, very strong around the, uh, the waist area. Just watch the little hand off there and then on the inside, through he comes. Well, South Africa have spent a lot of time we're using utilizing the crash ball in the middle of the field has been part of the game plan mm -hmm. thus far. An area that has been one of the weakest parts of South Africa's rugby. Yes, uh, it has actually surprised me that uh, we are so weak because our guys are, are big men in the middle there and I can't understand why we're not getting more ball. Although when you look at that, we've only got really two players as uh, specialist line-out players against three if not four on the opposition sides. And that's where perhaps, in many ways, we're missing out. Yeah, and I think if I can mention there, Martin, on the line outside, is that um, last week in the test match, we actually did very well. Let's go back to... The Stromboke has never been the best of the best of the game. And Olivier, one of the best players, was the best player. He is by Arvizu. In this period, the box advanced only twice into their opponent's half. And on both occasions, they scored. Olivier's second gave the lead back to Mon has never been so outplayed and outboxed. And to rub salt in their wounds, the placement Jacques Olivier scored the final try for victory to South Africa by 40 points to 12. I think uh, that took him under this a favour, as you said. Please, I, admit, I, I don't think I've even my life done a coach like that. But, but took him under probably did us a favour by... Relatively simple for a pushover try. Richter will have to lend his weight, which he does. You see Ayapelli's come out of the back, now puts his head back in, but his temptation is there. There's Ruben Kier working nicely. Jacques Oulifia, the flying springbok, gets him for a try. And I always have great delight when Jacques Oulifia does anything good because he's such a great guy and he's showing great courage in coming back from injury. Well, a lovely back row movement. This, it looked as if they were doing a little bit too much behind the gain line, but that little lateral pass from Ruben Creer was better than it looked. Quickly out to Jacques Olafier, and nobody touched him on the way over. And I must uh, reaffirm what Hugh says, one of the nice guys of rugby in this country. Here it is again, and uh, 
a nice back row movement and even Van Herica there um, showing good sense just letting the door in front of him was Adrian Ruchter Ayo Peli you see how quickly they're up and I must say Andre Snyman's done some great tackling now Jacques Olafia Jacques Olafia has he got the pace will he get away from Amanga you don't catch a Northern Transvaal that easily <laughs> allowing himself a little smile the ball turned over and the defence was up in attack for Western Samoa so once he breached that first line it's only a question of running it over but for a man who's had so many injuries over the last couple of seasons it is lovely to see him on the scoreboard twice tonight here we go the little step off the left foot that used to be so familiar and then just stretching his legs it's the... now watch this Jacques Lafia as he gets it away now this is dad Schrader. can he get it on the inside Jacques Olafia Jacques Olafia will be the hero of the day he's had a fantastic game a fabulous fabulous ending to a movement from the man who's been so full of running and you always felt with the great defence of both sides and it was going to have to be a try from deep and a little bit of inspiration that was going to break those defences and that's exactly what we've just seen this is later on in the movement from the 22 nice bit of sprinting from Franz Straten see Jacques Olafio screaming for the ball he gets the pass and takes off what a lovely try, what a lovely man. Terrific backup play there by Bram van Straten as well. Look how he looks on the inside. That's good play. Yanni de Beer coming in. But that's a beautifully positioned pass. And Jacques Goulafier sees the try line open. Jacques Goulafier, who's had such tremendous form, got him into the test team against Wales. Just showing his paces there and getting away from the cover defence. Yes, ABC for these pictures. Now Van der Westhuizen reads it well. Jacques Olivier had called for it and Van der Westhuizen delivered. Now just watch the running of Jacques Olivier again. A la Jan Ellis. Remember Jan Ellis, the great Springbok flank in full cry. And it's Jacques Olivier under the post. Northerns are getting the scrum. Is this an ominous sign for Eastern Province, Cheryl? That's a big test for Fisahi. Both the centres for Northerns are there from Scott Vake makes a crunching tackle. Kicked ahead by Yoke Jacques Ulefia. Ruft is there as well. Can they get a hand on it? The referee says Ulefia got the touchdown and beautifully followed up by the Springbok winger. Yaku Kirsten protests vehemently, but Jacques Olafia read the play, but the two young centres, Van Skalkveik and Snyman, got up onto Vizaghi. Van Skalkveik made the first thumping tackle, and now the crowd give Olafia his just reward. And Jacques did very well to, uh, to continue here, because you see, as he kicks it through, he's held back, but he doesn't stop, he keeps going, and there it looks as if uh, EP might save the try. Left-footed uh, kicks at cross-field. Northerns now about 20 or 18 metres out from the Natal goal line, but John Allen comes away with it. Creer. Snayman handled beautifully. This is Danny van Skarkveit getting it away there to Defa Madden. Jacques Lafier. Jacques Lafier came over from the left wing. And look at that for positional play. Absolutely brilliant. The try coming from nowhere. Look at this. Yanni Kriya gets it ahead of Andre Snayman. This was the telling little break by Danny van Skalkveik. Beautiful hands by F.R. Meiren. Jacques Ulefier getting away from Kibos. The desperate attempt by van der Westhuizen to bring him down. And Jacques Ulefier thunders in. Marshall. You see Gibson making the charge down the left wing side to put pressure on F.A. Meiren. Oh, nice take and a great acceleration from Myring. He got out of the blocks that time. Van der Westhuizen. Away to Cheryl. 
Schneiman and Van Skalkberg with the fullback David Dutoy in. First touch of the ball, and these young fellas just over 20 years of age, Van Skalkberg, Schneiman and Dutoy into the running mode already. Now the big meat comes in and charges towards the line. Away free again, Cheryl. Tremendous burst here by the captain, Kruger. It's there, it's on the floor. It's come to Van Skalkberg. Olafia and Jacques Olafia find space, touches down. Excitement from the Blue Bulls, they're in, and only a couple of minutes gone. Well, have a look at this on the Ford replay as we see Olivier there running in for an easy try. It was all done, the work, the hard work was done earlier. Too many players committed in the Crusaders' defence, and Olivier runs in for a great try for the Northern Transvaal team. So strong, combination of forwards and backs working together. They moved it wide, and there's the finishing touch from Olivier. Jacques Olivier into the Springboks when they came back into World Rugby in 92 and uh, racked up a uh, dozen or so tests, but missed the World Cup because of injury. But he's back as a current Springbok, having played at Twickenham in their last outing late in 95, and that's why.
And so now the points difference just six. And the Argentinians can gain a lot of heart from this and be a very difficult side to encounter. Henny LaRue tidied up nicely. Van der Westhuizen. Now Garvey. Teichmann getting over the first line of defence. Fenter picks up. Help from Darby Tron into the Argentinian 22 meter area. Honeyball. Honeyball should score here, but he gets it away to Jacques Lefier. Well, very unselfish of Henry Honeyball there. I think he could have gone all the way himself. But making absolutely certain Jacques Ulefier was in the clear and just put in the look at this. This he could have gone on the inside there. Oh, but that was a good stop there by uh, uh, Girardo eventually. James Dalton with ball in hand. 13th cap for him. 13th game for the team. And it seems as if it's 13 lucky for South Africa this afternoon. 30 points to 15 ahead. And here they come again. Mulder strong at centre into the West 22. All the backs are lined up as Wender Westhuizen gets it to Honeyball again. Great work by the scrum half. It looks like 2 to 1. Bolivia goes for the try line. Another try for South Africa. That's their fifth. Jack Bolivia over from the left. Scores in the right-hand corner, and that's his third for his country. Honeyball so strong, and Vesta Hidden links outside him. Andre Schuber in it, and now Olivia is over from the other wing. David James stays with his wing, and he got the strength to go through Bateman, and over for the try. Peter Woods. Meanwhile, the game resumes. Venta. It's a dangerous pass to Olivia. As well to retain possession and to shrug off the challenge. Wow! Who would have believed it? Jack Olivia creating something out of nothing there. He looked to be under a lot of pressure, didn't he? he definitely did. You know, just showed great strength and uh, in that take. Just got great balance as well and just throws off um, the tackle of Glenn Osborne. And just got a clear run to the to the try line. Kick is successful. So the decision by South Africa to include Jack Olivier rather than Jeffrey Stevens, fully vindicated. Means the 15 assigned wing up touches down. Ruchta. Vessels, Sneiman, he's got plenty of pace, says Andre Sneiman, and this is a chance here, Jacques Lefier will get the touchdown, brilliant break by Andre Sneiman, give him one little opportunity, he does it so often, and Jacques Lefier does the finishing, Jacques Lefier just pointed to Andre Sneiman, pull Johnson, pull Johnson, and I'll do the rest. Well, just as I was saying, not a very good advert for South African rugby. A try from uh, 75 metres. Brilliant stuff, and it comes from pure pace. Of course, that's why he's in the sevens team. Look at Jacques Olafier saying, there's one man to go. Give me the ball at the right time, and I won't let you down. And he didn't. Super now, they do the blue balls, and Jacques Olafier. Jacques Olafier gets in for his 53rd try in the blue jersey. That's the fourth highest number by any player in Northern Transvaal history. Dion Muir is in trouble for Waikato. Well, that's try number three for Northerns. Well, what a turnaround Hugh Bladen was mentioning the last ten minutes of the first half. 
Northern's putting 17 points on the board. Waikato now haven't scored since the 31st minute. Stein adds the extra two points, and now the lead starts to become a little bit ominous for the visitors. Here's the direct route, and I'm sure this is what Northerns must look at. The little pop-up, it was probably intended for a forward. Jacques Olafia, though, was coming through at pace and uh, brushing off the tackles, crashing under the posts. Great stuff from Northerns. That will really give them heart. Oh, a huge hit, that. It was a huge hit by Anderson, and Jacques Olafia is going to get this touchdown. It's a second try for the veteran winner, but I'll tell you something, rugby football's a funny old game. That try was Andre Snemans. Well, Andre Snemans was the man who, of course, knocked on previously, but that uh, was the uh, tackle from Snemans that set up the loose ball, and Jacques Olafia just pounced on it. And uh, I don't think he'll like you calling him veteran here. He's only 29. Now here's trouble for the Brumbies. The blue balls for the driving mall just five metres out. Van der Westhuizen, Van Rensburg. Kruger, almost there. Taken low by Robinson, try saving tackle. Can the Brumbies hold on here? There's an overlap, it has to be a try for Olivier. First one for Northern Transvaal. And they look a very pumped up team tonight. Well, what uh, great work there by the Blue Bulls. Olafia finishing off some fine lit up work, especially from Kruger. Watch him. Robinson brings him to ground as Howard gets in there. Howard almost giving the penalty away. Yanni Brooks in there to get the ball back. Bunnevest Hazen gets the lovely ball away. Out it goes to Van Rensburg. And Olafia, beautiful try. Put this down to a couple of stunning insertions by Kruger, who really has drawn in all the defence by the way. Another five pointer. Try number seven for the Bulls. I just wonder whether that will put them up a gear or two. They were defending for most of the second half. And here they come now. Krobla to Olivier. Trying to weave his way through. He's getting there. He's gone. They've let him out of the trap. And Jacques Olivier scores in his 99th match for the Blue Bulls. He's a happy man and he's a great guy and a great player and he fully deserves it. Great driving play, Pierre Evans was there as well. Great quick ball by Conrad Bredebach, skip pass. Derek Krobla also having a brilliant game. Handing off, keeping the ball alive. Jacques Olivier inside, he steps, beating two, three men. Not great defence. He's got plenty of speed in those legs though. Looking over his shoulder. He loves it. What can Northwest do from here? They're trailing by 53 points to six. And Hannes Venter picks up. Elusive play. Fast. Oh, that's clever play by the fullback. Dumped eventually by Danny Duval. But still the ball comes back. It's Ruben Kruger. Skoda Becker on to Jacques Olivier who scores his second try. And that is try number 10 for the Bulls. Two for the Springbok Olivier. He's enjoying his afternoon. Quick ball by Conrad Bredebach, produced by the Fords. Ruben Kruger on the outside. Saw the man coming. Great timing of the pass. Skoda Becker called his man inside. Saw Jacques Olivier on the outside. This is Breitenbach, lovely little dummy, looking for Mayer on the inside. But he finds Skitter Becker. Nicky van der Volt is up there quickly as well. Breitenbach. Then Boa got it away nicely. This is a chance here for Esther Hazen. This should be a try if they can work it wide. Ulefier, the crowd go mad. Inside, outside. And Jacques Ulefier gets a try in his 100th game. It's fabulous. Well, it all happens here. Conrad Breitenbach on the break. Doing ever so well. No one's going to look at the uh, pass and he might not have made. Checks there. Pops inside. But wait for him to pop up again. That was him again. Long pass out. 
Ruben Kruger nicely here, making sure that uh, Jacques Olafia has a couple of meters to uh, score a try in his 100th game. Yeah, lovely timing of the pass. Placed, in fact, Delport's kick is not in touch. This is danger now for the Lions. Taken in by Joost. A little bit slow in looking for support. Ruben Kruger gave it to him and does really well to stay on his feet, but they're going backwards. They need to use this ball, and they have got it. Kravestazen. Smith, back to the forwards. They've got a lot of players in the back line, and uh, we would like to see them use them, maybe. Yanni Brooks giving it back inside to Frobela, taken on by Hannes Fenter, who was up from fullback. 10-metre line. This is a real chance for the Bulls. They've got space out wide. It's taken on by Danny from Skrovek. He's got Olafia. Olafia's got all the pace in the world, and the first try comes to the Bulls, as simple as you like. Yeah, I think I've, this all came from a kick from Franco Smith right in the corner that Timus Delp would feel that didn't find touch, and from that point, Transvaal was in trouble. And the end result really was uh, Jacques Oliveville diving over in the corner for a try. Here we see Franco Smith out to Danny von Skalpek. Yeah, it's over and done with. Just draws the fullback and uh, puts Jacques Oliveville away for, uh, for a good try by the Blue Bulls. Didn't look as if there was much that Tennis Delport could do in defence there, two on one. No, over there it's, you know, he's got to, got to just play, basically mark the man. Um, what, he, what he really does there is cover himself so the guy doesn't throw a dummy and score under, underneath the poles. So without Barnard, that pack of forwards is really going to be quite hard pressed. Lovely pass to Grant Esterhazen. Now's a chance for Jacques Olafin to get into the squad try scorers. Well, Grant Esterhazen was quite magnificent as he came through. And the interpassing of the North of the Blue Bulls backs has really been outstanding. Well, the Bullet defense really looking very porous now. And just look at that sleight of hand and Grant Esterhazen running through the center there. Jacques Gullefier, a little bit of a juggling act, but he was already almost over the line. Cutting through there, almost non-existent, that defense. And Jacques Gullefier, he's got options on his inside, but he's almost over the line when he does that little juggle act. But really, uh, he's Quite right. Warren Brits would be key there. I think they'd probably throw all the ball to him. Well, well, well. They've thrown to the smallest man in the whole tournament. He's certainly a big jump from him, and that's going to be a try to the Springboks. So try number four, belonging to the captain, Jacques Olafir. Well, there was obviously a, a line-out variation that's been worked on. Andres Ferri getting the big lift from the two bigger men and uh, soaring above the Kenyans and uh, driving it over. Not really seventh type of rugby, but it's five points. The score now time and decide listen let's go play this game if you don't play this game you're not going to win well again they've taken one against the throw dive pass from Kronovolt this is Jacques Olafia and Olafia puts the balls ahead for the first time in the game and that was all made possible from running straight and running hard because really what actually happened there when he received that ball he received it at pace and uh, ran right through the Greek was defence here. Gunnar Grunewald now, Ken Ford, you see Jacques Willepi running at pace and getting through some sloppy tackling there from the Greek was. And in his bonus year, scoring virtually under the poles. And uh, a great try there from Jacques Willepi. Another man who, should he wish to do so, could uh, play for Namibia. As could Janemann Brandt. Places full of them. Yankees. Now, chance here for him to create something. Support from Buerta. Good cover tackle there from Jean Peters. Here's Danny van Skalkbeek. Jacques Ulefier, lovely hands. Brandt, Breitenbach. Well, look at the little dab ahead there by Konrad Breitenbach. Dark card to Langer is there. Somebody else got in and underneath him, Jacques Olivier. Look at this now, there'll be plenty of smiles here. Throtkart de Lange just had so much further to go down. Now what kind of a captain is there taking the try away from your players? Would have been great to see uh, Dart, uh, Dart Kart, uh, the score there. He's had a great game. Good hands, great hands, quick through the hands. 
and a neat little kick through. Very clever. Dot Crafty, <laughs> you would have taken away by the captain. captain. By John Quilby. Well, he now was. the point is, did he get the touchdown? I think Clark Cardalonga got it. Last no decision to take it back in again. It was crying to go wide there. Bezait now to Ulefia, Dupere, Ulefia. Simple. simple. Yeah. I'd love to see try scored like that, Hugh, because, you know, going back to the Super 12, I just feel a lot of in New Zealand the players especially I don't want to blow them up to be like that they're unbeatable or anything but they score so many tries just like that in the tackle passing the ball where a lot of us tend to just hold the ball and die with it there so simple great support play running off the ball watch Jacques Lefia a little bit so thrown by Richard Bands well taken Grunewald Krier Grunewald. It was uh, because Buerta driving it forward with some strength. And still the forwards go. This is Rousseau. Grunewald, Krier, Dirksen, Ulefier. And Ulefier has threw a beautiful dummy. Can he get past the man on the outside? Well, he is such a wonderful runner. Now the experience of Jacques Olivier showing there, he's almost toying with the Allos' defence. Good hands from the Bulls, getting it wide as quickly as possible. Gets through the gap to Jacques Olivier. And there, poor Hannes Fenter, he doesn't know which way to go. And that ball dotted down prior to that corner flag being bent over. Benny, Benny. So often in that position, Benny. you will see a man either put uh, boot to ball or else.
Torres Pretorius. He has worked very well leading the loose trio for the Pumas. For your penalty, for Fun sale. Room on the outside now. Somebody needs to run straight. Ulufia does. Brunt. He goes in beautifully on the inside. Where's the support? Comes in the beautiful form of Paul Hoffman. Ulufia. <laughs> What an outstanding try from Jacques Willefier. Well, set up wonderfully well by the back line. Jacques does well, he straightens up. Brandt goes on the inside. He offloads, the pressure is placed on the defense and look at Jacques Willefier, worms his way out of it.